Hey everyone, what's going on? I've just gotten back from the cinema and I've just checked out Demon Chazelle's new movie, Babylon. Yeah, so this movie I was very excited for. I'm a fan of this director, a fan of his previous works like La La Land and also Whiplash, two fantastic movies. And we've got Justin Hurwitz who joins him once again in the music department, which he did in those two movies I've just mentioned before. So Babylon finally came out in the UK today, it's been a while, it's been out in America since like late 2022, so we've got it a little bit later here, now it stars the likes of Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie, Diego Calvert, Olivia Wilde, Tobey Maguire and many many more, and essentially the plot of this movie, without giving spoilers here because this is a spoiler free review, is it centres all around Hollywood and the transition in the 1920s going from silent movies to talkies, or movies that talk if you didn't know that term. So yeah, Babylon, uh, yeah, this was an interesting movie. Let me just put it that way because I don't think it's going to work for everyone. Can I say that I enjoyed this movie? Absolutely, I enjoyed this movie. But I'm also torn on my scores, which I'll get into. And I just want to kind of be open with you guys and say that this movie was a little bit too long at times. But overall, this was a very entertaining movie. Now, I will say... The opening of this movie is around 32, 34 minutes before we even hit a title card, which is absolutely nuts. And that first half an hour in this movie is absolutely wild. The music is just adrenaline filled throughout this movie, even in the moments where this movie has slower pace moments. The music by Justin Hurwitz is absolutely fantastic. And even weeks before I'd seen this movie, I had the tune Voodoo Mama stuck in my head. Head. To be honest, I had it stuck in my head ever since I saw the trailer and I was like, what is this music? I was like, it's really, really good. And one of the biggest compliments I can give this movie is the music, the score and the very use of like a little bit of soundtrack of like actual known songs is done very well. It's very good with the tempo of the movie. Again, whether it's like a high adrenaline scene, like the first half an hour, which is just absolutely so much stuff going on it's bonkers at times to the slower moments where our characters are delivering dialogue which is leading to kind of like an emotional moment the performances are also great in this movie margot robbie fantastic as always i can't say that i've ever seen a bad performance from her yeah she's absolutely great in this movie margot robbie's character nelly Leroy is also a very interesting one i must add and i would say also brad pitt is also good as Jack Conrad. Diego Calva plays a character called Manny. So essentially this movie, our three main characters is Margot Robbie, Brad Pitt, and Diego Calva's character I've just mentioned. And Olivia Wilde has kind of like a cameo here, and so does Tobey Maguire. Now, he absolutely steals the show, by the way, in this very small scene that he's in. Yeah, so this movie is just absolutely wild. So kind of just to give you a bit of a heads up of what this kind of contains. There is a scene here, I will say, is a little bit like animal cruelty so there's definitely that on board there's a lot of nudity here a lot of substances that you probably shouldn't be taking out that's all i'll say a lot of alcohol and just a lot of nudity as well in this movie like a really big amount of nudity that's all i'll say and yes yeah, some might say that this is kind of a little bit like a wolf of wall street to an extent in terms of like the style that it's kind of going with to an extent i would say i'd probably agree with that but of course this is going back into like the hollywood movies into the kind of silent film era and that's always been an era for me that i want to explore more in just watching movies and also onto the channel because i haven't had a massive exposure of the silent era making in movies but i don't know full history of it so i felt like when i was watching this movie i felt like i was learning a lot around that era and kind of like the company logos and how they kind of dealt business back then and kind of like the lives of these stars in hollywood at that time whether they were a star in the silent era or into the talkies era so i think this movie definitely explores a lot of different themes and messages throughout which I did pick up on a lot of them but I will say this is definitely a movie Babylon if you do like it it's going to be worth a rewatch I will say that if you weren't a fan of this movie maybe a rewatch could be in order like after a little bit amount of time but I would say more so especially if you like the movie because I think there's going to be a lot more stuff to pick up on after each certain watch and uh, one other factor I really really loved in this movie was the ending scene that we get I really was surprised at the direction that Damien took and I 
really, really loved it and the paying homage because the beauty about this movie is it pays homage to cinema in general and whether that is you making movies or whether that is you watching a movie and being on the other side of someone's creation, I think it explores both of those things really well and also in a beautiful and kind of touching manner. Last kind of praise here I've got is the cinematography. There was some great wide shots here and just some fantastic work behind the camera and those director of photography that is just captured beautifully and even when it's like parts where like a grain is used where it makes it look like the older times in the 1920s I just think it was done very well beautifully made movie the only negative that I've got with this movie guys if I'm being completely honest with you is a minor one but also affects my score and that negative is I would say this movie is probably a little bit too long. It's not to say that I was bored by it or anything, because I wasn't bored for a single second of this movie, but there was definitely times where I felt like we're getting like a really high energetic scene, then it kind of calms down a little bit, then it happens again, and it's like very like with the piercing, but I think there is a couple of scenes I was noticing when I was watching, I was like, that maybe didn't necessarily need to be in there, or maybe one or two characters here, didn't necessarily need to be introduced therefore if we took like those little scenes that were there in it could be shaved at like 5 10 15 minutes a year and i think it would just helped overall because every time that it really focused on margot robbie brad pitt or diego Calva, i was invested i also wish that toby Maguire had more screen time because the scene that he does get is great and it's a very interesting and very dark morbid scene but i loved it i was like I wish we got more of that and we didn't. So yeah, overall Babylon was a great movie. I had a fantastic time with this one. Another great 2023 movie. And it's such a shame to hear that this didn't perform so well in the box office so far. Hopefully now that's here in the UK, it might pick up a little bit. But I also think that is due to down some of the mismarked in here. Because again, it's focused on Hollywood at the time of the 1920s and 30s. Depending on how the trailer kind of put that, it could have maybe interested a lot more of like an older audience as well who maybe had relatives or they love that kind of timepiece in movies to check it out. But because this is kind of like advertised as like a big, heavy, you know, go hard kind of party movie to an extent, which it is that, don't get me wrong. I feel like it's kind of only going to be getting to like a certain audience, which is a shame, but we'll have to just wait and see. So my score for Babylon at this moment in time on a first watch is between a three and a half stars and a four stars out of five. So yeah, my scores are between the two scores that I just mentioned. And this one is a very interesting watch and I actually generally can't wait to check it out again in the future and see what my thoughts are then. And maybe I can kind of come to a finalization score at that point. But have you seen Babylon? Are you going to go check out the movie? Leave any and all comments down below so we can continue the discussion down there. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button down below so I can see you again on a future video. Also, if you're unaware, I do have a Patreon. I have a couple of tiers you can select from, which starts from £2 per month. And these tiers do include like early videos, my release schedules, and see what goes on to the channel. You can actually pick out movies for me to review there's so much stuff to find out about my patreon the link is down below in the description box if you want to check out more and i want to give a big special thank you to all my awesome patrons who help support the channel and just thank you so much for taking your time to check out this video and this review right here of babylon and until the next time that i see you i'll be seeing you later